If you're still not using Klaviyo to set up your email flows, you're leaving thousands of dollars in profit on the table. And just by implementing Klaviyo flows, I have helped 30 D2C e-commerce brands generate $300 million of revenue. In this video, I will show you exactly how I created these high converting Klaviyo flows. So you can start converting more of your customers for your e-commerce store. Why are email flows so important? Well, first of all, it's a one-time build. Once you've built it, it will automatically send out the messages to your email subscribers. This doesn't mean that flows are a set it and forget it thing. You still need to optimize things over time. Plus, email flows allow you to retarget your customers in every stage of the customer journey. If it's someone who just visited your website or if it's someone who has done a purchase before and you want to get them to buy again. With email flows, all of this is possible. Now, let's dive into my computer and I'll walk you through the top flows that you definitely need to implement for yourself. We go to flows, click on build your own. And first, what you want to create is the welcome series flow because this is the flow that will generate you the most amount of revenue. So what we do is we take pre-built flow by Klaviyo that already gives us a good base to work with. And let's type in welcome. Let's go with welcome series standard. Make sure to select a trigger with the list that you use to get new subscribers into your list. For most people, this will be the general newsletter list. And now Klaviyo has already built out three emails for us. So what we want to add, first of all, is a profile filter. We want to make sure that once someone is receiving the welcome series flow and they now go to your store and add a product to the cart, for example, and they start to the check out that they stop receiving the welcome series flow because otherwise they will get the welcome series flow, but also the abandoned checkout sequence, for example. And that's something we don't want. So we hit add profile filter, what someone has done, checkout started zero times since starting the flow and hit save. And the same we can do with when someone has placed an order. So what someone has done, place order zero times since starting this flow, hit save. And what this will do is at any point during the flow, if someone has started to checkout or as place an order, this person won't receive the rest of this welcome series flow. Now the structure of the welcome series flow. So as you can see, Klaviyo by default uses a three-part sequence, but that's just not enough. The modern customer is cautious and you need to build trust with your new subscribers to get them to buy from you. So the first email is just a general email where we want to give away the incentive that you promised them in the sign-up form. Then one day later, you can send them a second email. And in this email, you can give them more information on your brand. For example, behind the scenes or your brand story. One thing that I like to do in between is create a conditional split. So let's say someone didn't open email one. To this person, we basically want to resend them the first email again after 24 hours to make sure that they will open this first email because this first email will be the email that will generate the most amount of revenue out of this complete flow. So that's why we want to create a resend. And the way we can do that is that we say conditional split and we put it after one day. Say what someone has done has opened email at least once since starting flow hit save and then we're going to duplicate email one and then we're going to put this underneath no and we're going to call this resend email one and basically what you want to do is resend the exact same message but now with a different subject line because that first subject line didn't make them open the email so you need to do something different right now with the conditional split we say person has opened email at least once since starting this flow this can be any email not specifically welcome email one that's that's something that you want to make sure of. And the way you can do that is first you want to go to email one, you're going to hit edit, hit exit, and then in the URL, you'll find this code. We're going to copy this code. This is the unique code for this message. Hit done, go back to the conditional split. And now after a person has opened email, we're going to hit this filter icon. And then we're going to say where message equals, and then you hit that code and then you hit save. And now Klaviyo will make sure that only if someone has not opened that specific email, then it will send the resend of welcome email one. And then we're not done yet because the yes part is going to email two etc but we want to make sure that after someone has received the recent email one this person can still receive the rest of the flow so we're going to hit this rejoin button put it up here and then we basically have combined the no part with the yes part so this leads to email two the only thing that we have to do right now is add a time delay in here make this one day now there's one day in between recent email one and email two email two is going to be behind the scenes slash your brand story then one day later we're going to send email three and for this email, I like to focus on the bestseller or bestsellers. So if there is one specific bestseller that you really want to promote, do it in this email. If you have multiple bestsellers, I would advise you to use max three products. If you do more, then people have to make choices. People are bad at making choices, so they're ending up making no choice. And that's not what you want because that's going to hurt your conversion. Now we make another time delay and let's add two days in between now. Now we're going to make email four. So people have already received three emails from you, maybe even 
before. So now you're gonna hit up with a different angle. So a new angle could be reviews, share three testimonials, and not just three testimonials, but reviews that show pain points of your target audience. So you don't just want to share reviews that say, ah, oh, excellent product, highly recommended, because those are just way too generic. Make sure to find reviews that really talk about a specific pain point that's there within your target audience and how your product is solving this. Now, one day later, we want to come up with email five. And what we want to do with this email is compare yourself with your competitors. So what makes you stand out from the crowd? What makes you different from your competitors? Talk about that in this email because people are always window shopping. So they're always comparing you versus your competitors. And now email six, you basically want to give them a new incentive. So a different incentive than in the first five emails. So we're going to make a time delay after two days because we have the 48 hour deadline in email five. And then this email is going to be a new incentive. And then finally, we're going to make another time time delay of just one day and this is going to be email seven and this is going to be a plain text email where we're going to highlight the incentive once again but now with a 24 hour deadline and this is basically the welcome series sequence that we like to use for our own agency and this has generated thousands and thousands of dollars of revenue for our own clients and the beauty of this sequence is that you hit different angles to nurture your new subscribers and to get them to buy from you the next flow that we want to create is the checkout abandonment flow so this this flow we're gonna search for card abandonment and this is a tricky one because the standard abandoned card reminder from Shopify uses the trigger checkout started so this is actually a checkout abandonment and not a card abandonment so those are two different flows that you should have in place abandoned card reminder has a trigger added to cart and the abandoned checkout reminder has the trigger checkout started always make sure that you have both flows in place first we're gonna check the trigger make sure that all the filters are set up so right now it says place or zero times since starting this flow so when someone is doing a purchase while receiving this flow this will make sure that they won't receive the rest of the flow and has not been in the flow in the last seven days so make sure to select a proper time frame so seven days could be a good one but it really depends on the specific niche that you're in the default flow from clavier has just two emails and again that's just not enough you want to make sure that you have at least seven emails in your flow first of all the time delay so when do you want to make sure that people get the first email of this flow make sure to a b test this so the default setting is four hours. What we notice in general is that when you have an AOV of under the hundred dollars, that you can go away with a time delay between the 30 minutes after two hours and an AOV above the $100 or especially above the $200, then you really need to be in a two to four hour range. For this example demo, we're just gonna stick to wait four hours. The first email is just gonna be a simple notch. So just a simple reminder of what they left in their card. With your second email, you already wanna show social proof. So there's a reason why people have abandoned their cards. So you want to basically build trust with them once again and now with reviews. So that's a really good thing to use. And in general, what we like to do is send this one day later or in this example, 20 hours later since the first time delay was four hours later. Email three is going to be an email where we give them product USBs, benefits. So talk about what makes your product unique, the product that they have added to their card and what they started to check out with. Make sure to make specific specific emails for the specific products that they're adding to the cart. So if you're a store that you're just selling electric shavers, for example, then you can make this generally generic. But if, for example, you're selling electric shavers, but also different grooming tools, then you want to make sure that you make different splits based on the product category that they're in. Then one day later, we're going to send email four. Email four is going to be a general email where we're going to say, hey, your card is expiring. So we're going to use some urgency for people to buy right now. So this is some urgency that we're using without having to use a discount and that's what you'll notice with this flow we're not giving away a discount straight away oftentimes that's what we see with clients when we start working with them they give away a discount in email one or email two already and nowadays people are used to that so people are just simply adding a product to the card waiting for that first email or that second email to wait for the discount code so they can do their purchase on a discount and that's not what you want for your brand so that's why in the first four emails we're not giving away a discount yet Yet. One day later, once again, we're going to send email five and email five is going to include a discount. So we're finally going to give away a discount code with a 48 hour urgency. So simply give away the discount code, show them what they left in the card and make them buy. And then one day later, of course, you can send them a sixth email with a 24 hour urgency deadline. And then one last email that I like to add in as well one day later, and that has generated a lot of revenue for our clients. That's email seven.
11 and this is basically going to be the discount code once again but extended for 24 hours and this email 7 is going to be a plain text email from the founder because this is a plain text email the deliverability will be better compared to your regular emails and also change things up when people now receive a plain text email from you compared to the designed emails that they've seen before and all in all this will make sure that your open rates will be higher and people will be surprised to see this email and people are way more likely to actually convert especially because you now say that they again have only 24 hours left and this is the really last chance to get this item on a discount and the third most important flow that i highly recommend for every e-commerce brand is the post purchase flow so let's hit create flow search for post purchase or customer thank you so this is the default flow of clavio and let's check the trigger first so metric placed order so when someone has placed an order they will start receiving this flow there are no profile filters as you can see what i like to add is a profile filter has cancelled order zero times since starting this flow so let's say someone has done an order but after that they cancelled it they won't receive the rest of this flow because that would be annoying for this flow we want to make sure that we send different content to first-time buyers and to returning customers and you can split up returning customers into different brackets so this can be someone who has done two purchases at your store this can be someone who's done five purchases at your store so basically the first email we want to send it one hour after doing the purchase so within the first hour they should already receive transactional emails via shopify from your brand so this includes the order confirmation and maybe already some information about shipping so that's why you want to wait one hour before we send an email via clavio because this is not going to be a transactional email let's check the conditional split so what someone has done person has placed order equals one over all time so if yes that means that's a first time buyer if no it means it's a returning customer so that's all right with email one we basically want to send a plain text email again this is for deliverability purposes because plain text emails gives you better email deliverability also it creates a personal touch that they get a personal plain text email from the founder of the company that they just bought an item from and with this first email we basically want to thank them for actually buying from your store and you want to basically reassure them of making the right choice oftentimes what we notice is that customers get what we call buyer's remorse so in the first day of doing the purchase they just paid they now have to wait to get that delivery they get buyer's remorse so they're like should i have done this purchase so with the post purchase flow in the first 24 hours you want to make sure that you reduce this buyer's remorse so this will lead to less cancelled orders for your e-commerce brand you want to lead them to your frequently asked questions page if you have one and you want to say hey if you have any questions feel free to reach out so also act as a customer service for this person if they have any questions that they can't find on the faq page on your store and one nice extra touch that you can give to this emails is say hey if you want to add anything to your order click here and provide them with a link where they can add additional items from your store to their order so they can receive this together with their first purchase and this is a nice way to basically cross sell them different items and to boost your customer lifetime value and your average order value as well and of course you want to add more emails to this flow so we're gonna make these two parts together again and we add a time delay of one day and in this email you want to give all the information they need once they get their package their delivery to get started with a new item so what this does is that they're ultimately prepared for their delivery and you build excitement for the delivery and that's actually the goal of this email you want to build excitement for the delivery again to reduce this buyer's remorse next up and the time delay depends on how long it takes to actually ship the items to your customers but let's say it takes a few days and people need a few days to actually try out the product so let's say two weeks later we now want to send them an email a product review so we want a, to get a review from your audience you can even combine this with an incentive so once someone has done a purchase you can send them an incentive or give away the incentive straight away because it definitely helps you as well with boosting your customer lifetime value and one last email that you can add to this three days later you can now send an email where you promote your loyalty system if you have one and this is a great moment to actually promote this loyalty system because at this point they've tried your product they're used to your brand and now you want to promote your loyalty system because it's great that you have this first time buyer but honestly you want them to get to buy more from your brand so you can increase their customer life and value you want to promote your loyalty system in your post purchase flow and this will do wonders for retaining your customers for your brand you can take all that i thought in this video and create your own high converting clavio flows and you may never have to worry again about your customers but flows are just the tip of the iceberg you still need to know how to build a strong email list what types of campaigns to send out and how to improve the deliverability of your emails and this takes a lot of trial and error to work out costing you hundreds of thousands in the long run to save you the time and the money why not work with me i guarantee a 
20 to 30% increase in revenue in 60 days. And if not, I will return you whatever you invested. If you want to work with me, click on the link in the description to book a call with me. Also, I've put together a full email marketing course, including all the information that I've gathered in the last five years and working with more than 30 e-commerce brand stores. And the best news, I've put it on YouTube completely for free. Click over here to watch it and I'll see you in the next one.